Where Do They Go in Rain or Snow? by Melissa Stewart, illustrated by Oli Rosa. When Rain Falls, Chorus 1. When Rain Falls in a Forest. Narrator. A scurrying squirrel suddenly stops. Squirrel. I put my tail over my head. It makes a great umbrella. Narrator. Higher up, there's a hawk. Hawk. I puff out my feathers to stay warm and dry. Curee, curee. Narrator. What does a chickadee do? Chickadee. Dee dee, dee dee. I hide inside my tree hole home. Narrator. A deer takes cover under a leafy tree canopy. Deer. All the leaves and branches block the rain. Narrator. Foxes nestled together inside a warm, cozy den. Fox 1. I could use a nap. Fox 2. Me too. Big yawn. Chorus 2. When rain falls on a field. Narrator. A plump little caterpillar crawls under a leaf. Caterpillar. Time for a snack. Munch, munch, munch. Narrator. An adult butterfly dangles from a nearby flower head. Butterfly. I don't mind hanging upside down. Narrator. A raindrop knocks a ladybug off a slippery stem. It bounces into the air and tumbles to the ground. Ladybug. Don't worry about me. I have a hard exoskeleton. Narrator. A spider watches and waits as the rain beats down. Spider. Looks like I'll have to rebuild my web. Narrator. A little mouse crouches under a fallen leaf. Mouse. Squeak, squeak. I don't like the rain. Narrator. What about bees and ants? Bee. I hide in my hive and stay busy helping my friends make honey. Ant. I stay safe in my underground nest. There's always lots of work to do. Chorus 3. When rain falls on a wetland. Narrator. A turtle tucks in its tiny head and doesn't move an inch. Turtle. I listen to the raindrops crashing down on my shell. Everyone. Plop, plop, drip, drop. Narrator. A dragonfly swoops past the turtle and lands on a cattail. Dragonfly. I rest below the cattail's fluffy brown top. Narrator. A whirligig beetle swims in circles on the water's surface. Beetle. Yikes! Those crashing raindrops make it hard to stay afloat. Narrator. Where are the birds? Sparrow. Clink, clink. Here I am, hiding inside a thick bush. Duck. Quack, quack. Not me. I keep on swimming. Rain or shine. Raindrops slide right off my oily feathers. Chorus 4. When rain falls in a desert. Narrator. A rattlesnake squeezes into a rocky crevice. Snake. I curl up tight and fall asleep. Narrator. Where does a tarantula go? Tarantula. I crawl into a hole and hide. Narrator. Bats fly off to a hillside cave. Bat 1. Dit, 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 dit. Bat 2. We just hang around until the rain stops. Narrator. A tiny elf owl peeks out of a hole in a cactus. Elf owl. Da 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 da. I like to watch the rain fall. Narrator. A spade foot toad only comes out in the rain. It digs to the surface, finds a mate, and lays its eggs. Toad. Then I dig back into the sand. Wave. See you the next time it rains. Everyone. When the rain stops, animals living in fields and forests, wetlands and deserts return to their daily routines. All animals. Jump forward and make your animal sounds. The end. Under the Snow. Chorus 1. Under the Snow in a Field. Narrator. Ladybugs pack themselves into a hole in an old stone wall. Ladybug 1. I like spending the winter with all my friends. It's like having a giant slumber party. Ladybug 2. Not me. I wish I had a little elbow room. Narrator. A snake rests inside another hole in the same wall. 
snake. I curl up tight and fall asleep. Narrator. What does a vole do under the snow? Vole. I tunnel through the white fluffy stuff all winter long. Narrator. A chipmunk snoozes in an underground nest. Chipmunk. Chip, chip, chirp, chirp. Sometimes I wake up to snack on nuts and seeds. Chorus 2. Under the snow in a forest. Narrator. A morning cloak butterfly rests in a pile of brush. Butterfly. I'm saving up all my energy for spring. Narrator. What's inside that rotting log? Look, it's a centipede. Centipede. Winter weather cools my body so much I can barely move. Narrator. A bumblebee queen rests in a nearby crack. B. It's nice to take a break after such a busy summer. Narrator. A wood frog hides in leaves on the forest floor. Wood frog. Quack, squawk, quack. Winter doesn't bother me. I can freeze solid and still survive. Narrator. A woolly bear caterpillar snoozes just a few inches away. Caterpillar. I curl up my body so my head almost touches my tail. Narrator. Just below the ground, a spotted salamander waits out the coldest months of the year. Salamander. If winter's here, can spring be far behind? Narrator. Deeper underground, a woodchuck sleeps soundly all winter long. Woodchuck. Chuck, chuck, do you think I'll see my shadow on February 2nd? Chorus 3. Under the snow in a pond. Narrator. A bluegill circles slowly through the chilly water. Bluegill. Glug, glug. I sure wish I had enough energy to catch that little bug. Narrator. The water boatman swimming nearby has a different point of view. Water boatman. Thank goodness that big fish can't chase me down. Narrator. A carp rests quietly on the muddy bottom. Carp. I wonder why that bluebill can swim, but I'm stuck down here. Narrator. Two tiny water striders lie just a few inches away. Water strider one. Lucky for us, that carp's totally pooped out. Water strider two. You can say that again. Water strider one. Lucky for us, that carp's totally pooped out. Water strider two. Oh, please. Narrator. A green frog and a painted turtle rest in the mud and wait for winter to end. Frog. Dude! Dude! I'm sick of this. How long until spring? Turtle. Not much longer, I hope. My toes are getting wrinkled. Chorus 4. Under the snow in a wetland. Narrator. A beaver family huddles together inside a cozy log lodge. Beaver 1. Wad. Wad. What? I could use a snack. Beaver 2. Me too. Let's swim over to our storage pile and grab a stick. Narrator. Just below the wetland's icy surface, a red spotted newt dodges and whizzes and whirls. Newt. Wee! I don't mind if spring never comes. Narrator. But everyone else is looking forward to warm, sunny days. Chorus 1 and 2. And as time passes, the sun's rays slowly grow stronger. Chorus 3 and 4. And each day is a little bit longer. Everyone. Until finally, spring arrives. All animals. Jump forward and make your animal sounds. The end. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you would like to read more books by Melissa Stewart, just click on the link in the description box below.